You know, I knocked out a podcast yesterday and uh, had a ton of YouTube issues. It wouldn't load. So I'm one podcast behind. So today you'll probably get two loaded and I'll catch up because I never miss. Yesterday was on my thoughts on myostatin inhibitors. But today this is I'm revisiting Mott C. But there's a reason because I'm starting to see an alarming amount of people getting sick and going through disease and having all these issues, even just even just people that come to me, they go, you're my last resort, Dr. T. I've been through everything. I just found out about you. Can you please help me? And I want to help all of you. I really do. I just there's only one of me and I give as much as I can here on this podcast and on in the black card. But some people need more than that. And I'm telling you, if you want your problem solved, I should, like I said, I should just get people from the black card just to tell you how great it is. I won't, of course, I'm going to speak highly of my own group because they're amazing. The people in my black card, all of them, they're freaking incredible. I love every single one of them. I'll bleed for every one of them. And you know, what's funny is six to 10 grand. You want to get in, it's 10 grand, 9,997 bucks to get in for the year. If it's cheap, You get a doctor that actually cares about you, that gives you answers without waiting a year and going through a bunch of nonsense and jumping through hoops. Don't take my word for it. If I didn't feel it would violate people's privacy, I would just make a list of people that are in it and you can ask them yourself. I just won't do that to people. These are amazing people, but these are all family to me, these people, which is why I made the black card because I did something different. I wanted to help people. I wanted people to want to be there, not people that just come by and want to click the link or get the research or download it or see what's out there and find something easier. These are people that are like, please help me and I'll listen to everything you do or you tell me to do. And they do. And they're great. And they give me so much back. Like they just love, they love me as much as I love them. And that matters to me. So take it however you want. But I'm going to revisit Mott C. And like I said, if you want to join the black card, awesome. If you don't, that's on you too. I don't really care. It's up to you. And you want to buy from Elite, I always say it. Go ahead. If you don't, won't stop me from giving you information. If you start emailing me nonstop or emailing Jess or Amber or anybody on my team trying to get dosages and you guys can keep asking, they're going to keep turning you down. Why? Because it's not legal. Not going to do it. So if you have any questions, you probably just want to go in, have a conversation about the black card. And if you think that's unfair, I don't care. I'm doing this because I want to do this for the next Till God says he's done with me. 40, 50 years. I'm 52. I want to hit 100. I do. I really do. I want to still be doing stuff like this at 100 years old. It'd just be this doddering old gray haired skinny man, bald, still with a beak. Might be my beard. It'll be down to here. Just helping people, making people bulletproof. Because that's how you're born, you guys. Let me explain this, this about MOTC because it's going to blow your mind. It's the one thing that I think people should be on off and on all year. If you don't want to stay on it as a forever peptide, just off and on all year. It's the most incredible thing. And because it solves so many pieces of the equation. So yeah, stop getting all excited with, just shut up. Just let me talk because you goes, oh, this is awesome. Great. This is like an intervention today. And if you take this however you want, like I'm in no mood. I just want you guys to win. And it's so many people don't want you to win. And some of you guys don't want yourselves to win. I can't even get my head around that. Your body is failing you and your doctors are blatantly lying to you and you're paying them for that privilege. It's a brilliantly stupid system and I'm here to burn it all down. Listen, let's start with the biggest con in human history. The con is that your diseases are these unique, special little snowflakes. That your diabetes is different from your neighbor's heart disease, which is different from your aunt's cancer. That's a lie. That is a profitable, very murderous lie. The truth is brutally simple. All of it. Every chronic degenerative life wrecking condition listening in any human listening to this podcast stems from three, just three total metabolic system failures. The rest just symptoms, baby, just medical drama symptoms. I don't care what specialist you are. I don't care how great you think your IQ is. I'm going to punch holes in all your logic every day and I'm going to be right. Watch, I'll prove it before we even get into Motsi. I'll go through three. You need to understand this because Motsi solves them all. Failure number one, insulin resistance. Your cells have become, I have two teenagers, petulant teenagers. Insulin is the parent saying, clean your damn room, do your chores, do the job, go to bed on time, do your homework, get up, help your sister, help your brother. And the cell just puts on headphones and grabs their cell phone and blasts music off of Spotify. Glucose, watch, glucose, the fundamental unit of energy is locked out. 
So it's banging on the door, rotting in your bloodstream, carving up your arteries. It's not a disease. It's a logistics nightmare. Failure number two, systemic inflammation. Your immune system has, for all intents and purposes, snapped. It's a soldier, and this isn't meant to be insulting before somebody misinterprets what I'm saying, but it's a bitter, angry soldier with PTSD that's firing at shadows. It's burning down your village to kill a spider. This is mediated by cytokine temper tantrums, right? TNF-alpha, IL-6, IL-1-beta. It's this hormonal riot going on in your physiology, your joints, your brain, your blood vessels, or the streetlights that are getting shot out and smashed and the mailbox is getting taken out. Failure number three, ATP bankruptcy. Your mitochondria, which are the little ancient power plants in every single cell you've got, nuclear power plants, right? It's the shape. They're shutting down. You're not tired. You're not. You're really not. You're bankrupt. Every single process that makes you alive, thinking, beating, hearing, walking, functioning, healing is on life support. This is the core of aging. It's not time. It's energy failure. Please listen to me. I'm not wrong. This disaster of suck is the root of everything. And modern medicine solution is a pill for the screaming. It's a bandage for the riot. It's a loan for the bankruptcy. Metformin, statins, ibuprofen. It's not medicine. It's pacification. Let that land. Just let that land. Look at your life and let that land. Because, and then something interesting happened. Watch. We stopped looking for another pill and we started listening to the one part of the cell that's been screaming the truth for as long as human beings have been alive. The mitochondria. That's what Dr. Trevor has started doing specifically. But that's what I do all day is I look for these three systemic failures and I look at how to mitigate them and then solve them and then reverse the damage caused by these failures. So you can go on kicking ass and taking names. Look at here. This is why I'm going over Mott C again, because you guys need to hear this. Mott C, it's not a drug. It's not a supplement. It's this mitochondrial derived peptide, 16 amino acid chain of instructions written in the original language, the Latin of your energy. By the way, do you know why the medical world speaks in Latin? So you can't understand it. I don't think Latin is a dead language at all. I think it was a murdered language. That's a whole, I could do a whole podcast on that. The reason it's in Latin is so you don't understand. Imagine if people ran around, police started yelling things in Latin, congealatum, instead of freeze. That's not how this works. It was a murdered language. So you don't understand because I think there's a lot more data that we are missing as far as our history. Remember, history is written by the winners. It's not the facts. It's the winners. Just keep that in mind with medicine. So I could get into the, what it is, methionine and everything. It's, but it doesn't matter. It's not a suggestion, Mod C. It's a system update for you, an operating system update. And I'll keep this simple. I won't get into the biochemistry because some of you guys are like, dude, I don't understand what you're saying. I, that's okay. I'm not trying to lose you. I just want you to understand the fundamentals about this. But here's how it works. And if you don't get this, you may as well turn this off. Mod C bypasses the broken insulin clogged bureaucracy of your cells signaling system. It doesn't knock on the door. It comes up and Ninja kicks that door and goes straight to the CEO's office, AMP activated protein kinase, AMPK. AMPK is the master switch. So when energy is low, it's supposed to flip on, but the modern world of crap food and chronic stress, it's stuck. MOTC jams it on, shoves a crowbar in there, just goes plack turns it on and it's not over revving or overriding before somebody goes, isn't that dangerous? Isn't that just over revving the system? Isn't your system, it knows what to do. It doesn't know what to do. Your system's confused and wrecked from all the stuff that we're breathing, drinking, rubbing on us, painting on us, dropping into our eyes, shoving in as suppositories, whatever the hell it is you guys are doing that's not working. The rabbit holes that you guys can go down on YouTube about what you should be taking. I saw some guy that takes 93 different pills every morning going, this is going to be amazing. You need this to have the most ultimate life. No, you don't. No, you don't. You need to get educated and then make good decisions that move the needle forward in your life to make yourself system that makes pathology unwelcome, which is why I'm giving you this information. In order to do that, listen, a 2015 study in cell metabolism by Lee, they took mice. Okay, watch this. They took mice and they fed them this diet of pure garbage until they were fat, nasty, gross, diabetic messes. And then they gave them Mott C. It didn't help. It erased the diabetes. Did you hear what I just said? Erased the diabetes. And I'll even tell you how it upregulates. It upregulates GLUT4 transporters. Okay. It physically, this is what it does. It physically forces glucose into the skeletal muscle cells. Insulin be damned. It didn't matter. The key is broken. Mott C is the door kicking battery ram. Failure one solved. Like you guys should just go nuts. 
Really, you want me to plug my own company, EB, Elite Biogenics? You should be running orders on MOTC all freaking day because that's how incredible this stuff is. And if you don't buy it from me, that's fine. Buy it from somebody else, but you guys should have this at your house. The next is the inflammatory riot that's going on. Can you guys hear my stomach growling? So hungry right now. Mod C walks in and it cuts the power to the entire party. It suppresses NF Kappa B, nuclear factor Kappa B. NF Kappa B is the sound system for inflammation. So when it's on, it's blaring music for every inflammatory cytokine to just dance and rave out to, right? Mott C unplugs it. 2021 paper in aging showed, this is such a good number, showed it slash TNF alpha and IL-6 levels by shutting down the NLRP3 inflammasome. That's a big deal, just so you get that. Turns them off. It doesn't just negotiate with terrorists. It's like Superman just picks up a building and drops it on them. Failure two solved. I'm not done. We still got a third one. The ATP bankruptcy, right? Mott C is the ultimate VC, a venture capitalist, right? Not Viet Cong, venture capitalist for yourselves. It doesn't give you a loan. It builds new factories. Very different. Watch Shark Tank. You'll understand. Very different. It stimulates mitochondrial biogenesis through the CERT PGC1 pathway. So PGC1 alpha is the foreman for building new power plants in physiology, right? So 2018, there's a study, Nature Communications. It showed Mod C didn't just give mice more energy. This is really cool. It made them run farther, faster, longer and it built them a better engine failure three solved i could just stop this podcast right now because this is changing your physiology your human biology to operate at a level that it's designed to operate from the day you were born and it's been unwound by all the stuff that's being slowly drip fed into you by various nefarious companies i'll just leave it at that the world bad decisions i could do this all day but here listen so now fat right? You're fat because your body, I need to explain this because this is part of Mott C. So it mitigates its fat loss in ways that blow my mind. Not like red, a true tide. It's a different, it works differently, but very effective. But you're fat because your body is a hoarder. This is storing energy that it's just too stupid to loot, to use. Mott C forces fatty acid oxidation. It's a metabolic enforcer. It activates HSL, hormone sensitive lipase, which is the demolition crew that comes in and breaks down fat stores into what? Free fatty acids. And then it upregulates carnitine palmitoyl transferase, which is CPT1. It's the bouncer that shoves those fatty acids into the mitochondrial nightclub where they're all dancing away to be burned for energy. Research in the American Journal of Physiology confirms Proves this. Mod C doesn't ask your body to burn fat. It makes fat the only fuel on the menu. Not the same, right? So now you don't have an option. You have to use fat. Sorry, my mustache is so itchy. Normally, I use coconut oil on my beard. My mustache totally ran, by the way. It has nothing to do with this podcast. But today, I, I didn't put anything in my beard. And it feels like fuzzy and itchy. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, I use coconut oil because my wife said she likes how it smells. I love my wife. She says that. I'm going to do it. I don't care if she says, put this on your face. Okay, that's fat. Look at how this affects the liver. Your body's toxic waste dump is the liver, right? So when the tri failure hits, three biological failures, it becomes this fatty inflamed scarred mess, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Mod C is the ultimate cleanup crew for all of this. It upregulates fibroblast growth factor 21. FGF 21 is the hormone made by the liver that tells the liver to stop being a dump. So 2019, uh, hepatology showed Mott C treatment, reversed fatty liver disease, didn't manage it. Do you hear what I just said? Reversed it, cured it in the model, not a treatment. It's an exorcism. It takes this and solves the problem. This is on one compound, no handfuls of drugs or surgeries or medical interventions or constant checkups every three, six months or blood work with 57 different genetic tests for markers to see what's going on. How did we survive? Do you ever think that testing for all this stuff is also married to the fact that we're creating all this stuff? Just a thought. Look at your brain. The neurons are energy hogs. I told you this, right? They use 20% of the body's energy. An ATP shortage in your brain is cognitive decline. It's Alzheimer's, right? Waiting in the wings. It's dementia. Sitting around waiting for you just to get called. It's multiple sclerosis. It's Parkinson's. Just waiting for the number to be held up and go, yep, your turn. Come on in. Screw this person up for life. Mott C crosses the blood-brain barrier. And once inside, it upregulates BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. BDNF, what do I always say this stuff is? If you've listened to me for any amount of time, miracle grow for your brain cells. It promotes neuroplasticity. It protects against oxidative stress, which are, it's like a primary killer of your physiology. 22 review, 2022 review in neuro science bull and laid out the case. Mod C doesn't make you smarter. It fixes the damn energy crisis, making you stupid. 
So it just takes away the problem and you're just natural. You're smart. It's like you have a governor on you. The governor is the inflammatory problem. It's the glucose problem. It's the ATP shortage problem. Take away the governor. You run full throttle, all gas, no brakes, baby. Look at the heart. This is a muscle that never takes a break right now. Going in my chest, just like yours, just like anybody runs on fatty acid oxidation, by the way. So when it fails, you get, well, if the heart fails, you get heart failure. MOTC optimizes cardiac metabolism. A journal in JACC, Basic to Translational Science, it found it improves heart function after a heart attack in less than 12 hours by making the heart muscles mitochondria more efficient and reducing cell death, which means you don't get a bunch of fibrotic tissue. Imagine if, let's just say hypothetically, imagine if you married MOTC with TB500, which is the only peptide known to solve and reverse myocardial damage. It just walks in. It says, what do I say? Hold my beer. And it just starts fixing stuff, it starts turning on your system to fix itself. So now the conduction can cascade and spill over the heart the way it's designed, right? The Purkinje fibers and the bundle can do its job and the SA node can do its job and everything can do its job because there's nothing in the way. It doesn't have any roadblocks. Imagine if you married Mott C, the instigator here that makes heart mitochondria, heart muscle mitochondria much more efficient and reduces the cell death to TB500 that mitigates the damage caused by previous cell death. Imagine what your heart would do. Huh. Your kangaroo's heart, of course, is what I'm talking about. MOTC turns a very tired failing pump into a high performance engine. That's the easiest way to explain this. You know, there's an elephant in the room. It's bugging me. I was debating on talking about this. It's the thing that drug reps and their paid off oncologists will scream from the rooftops and all their little papers. It'll cause cancer. It fuels growth. Clearly, you don't know anything. You've never seen patients over a million. I've seen over a million in my lifetime as being a doctor. I've seen over a million. Do the math. I don't really care. Over a million. I know what I'm talking about. That's not that that causing cancer, fueling growth. It's not just wrong. It's the exact opposite of it's so stupid. It physically hurts me. Like I feel it. It just, it's a, it's like a, I feel violated. That's how dumb it is. Cancer is not a cause. It's a symptom. It is the final desperate adaptation of a cell whose mitochondria have completely failed. Warburg effect where cancer cells ferment glucose, even with oxygen present. That This is a hallmark of broken energy production, by the way. They are primitive, inefficient, energy-starved zombies. MOTC doesn't fuel cancer. It annihilates the broken environment cancer needs. It's required to survive. It restores order, fixes the system by fixing the mitochondria. We getting this yet? Now let's go real science. Not, not drug company pamphlets and bullshit. 2020 study in on- oncogene. They applied MOTC to ovarian and prostate cancer cell lines. And guess what happened? Proliferation stopped. Cell cycle arrest. Apoptosis. Programmed cell death. That's what was triggered. MOTC, by activating AMPK, forced these cancerous cells to either fix themselves or die. It simultaneously, by the way, reduced the inflammatory microenvironment that tumors use to hide and spread. MOTC promotes metabolic health. Cancer is metabolic disease. You don't feed a disease by making the body healthy. That's the logic of a moron. This is the disruption that will topple empires. You understand this? The entire business model of modern medicine is based on managing those three failures. It's a perpetual motion machine of sickness. Motsi changes the question. The question is no longer, what disease do you have and what drug can we sell you for it? The only question that matters is this, is your foundational metabolism intact? Because you... We aren't treating disease. I'm not. I'm not treating diseases anymore. I'm treating physiological state, moving from a reactive care to a proactive engineering. That's what I do from managing decay to capitalizing and optimizing on human potential. This makes every prescription, digital pad, whatever it is, obsolete, makes every management protocol a freaking joke. It's the singularity for human health. You know what? Here's the problem. The implications are terrifying for them, for the people who profit from your sickness for a system built on your decline. This isn't a podcast. This is a declaration of war on everything that they're trying to sell you to keep you where you're at. And the weapon isn't a pill. It's a peptide, a 16 amino acid sequence that says, I'm done. No more. I'm out. I'm not going to be sick because of you. I'm choosing to turn my system into a friggin' juggernaut. Your body isn't a mystery. It's a machine. And I just handed you the repair manual. And it comes out of one tiny little vial. Anyway, hope you got something out of this. I got to go. Never miss.